As India readies the long-delayed request for proposal for its medium transport aircraft program, Russia has signaled its return to the competition. Rosaborn export officials say they will offer both upgraded IL-76 variants and a revived IL-214 medium transport aircraft platform, now powered by the full authority digital engine control, equipped PD-14M engine, addressing the key issue that sank the earlier joint program in 2015. Russia will compete against Airbus, Lockheed Martin and Embraer, promising flexible configurations, local manufacturing and deep technology transfer to modernize India's tactical and heavy lift fleets. Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited expects to finalize the massive Project 75I submarine contract with Germany's TKMS by March 2026. Chairman and Managing Director Captain Jugmohan confirmed strong progress with major milestones like the concept design agreement already completed. The rupee 70,000 to 80,000 crore deal will deliver six advanced AIP equipped submarines, boosting MDL's order book in India's undersea strength. MDL also anticipates follow on Scorpion orders under P75 as negotiations accelerate amid rising Indo Pacific security pressures. DRDO has successfully validated its submarine launch cruise missile SLCM through two full range missions in 2024, confirming India's stealthy undersea strike capability. Conducted from a classified submerged platform, the first test proved capsule ejection and underwater stability, while the second demonstrated booster ignition, capsule separation, and terrain hugging cruise flight. Telemetry and acoustic data showed zero anomalies as the missile executed a simulated strike profile, marking a major leap in the Navy's covert, precision strike arsenal. DRDO has confirmed that its indigenous fuel cell-based air-independent propulsion, proven on the 1,800-ton Calvary class, will be upscaled for the Indian Navy's upcoming Project 76 submarines. Designed with modular PM fuel cell stacks, the AIP can be expanded from 120 kilowatts to over 200 kilowatts to support the larger 2,500 ton class, equipped with VLS launched Brahmos and advanced sensors. The enhanced AIP could extend submerged endurance to four to five weeks, strengthening India's undersea posture amid rising Chinese and Pakistani AIP deployments in the Indian Ocean. A new photo of a Mirage 2000H from No. 7 Squadron shows the first clear look at the Indian Air Force's upgraded software-defined radio antenna, confirming the start of fleet-wide installation. The SDR gives the Mirage secure, high-speed communication and better protection against jamming, an upgrade driven by lessons from the 2019 Balakot operations. No. 7 Squadron is among the first to receive it, with full rollout expected by mid-2026 boosting the Mirage's relevance until at least 2035. After the 2025 India-Pakistan clashes, Pakistan's new field marshal Asim Munir threatened hybrid strikes using drone swarms and precision weapons on Indian cities and ports. But India has quietly built a powerful nationwide electronic warfare network to counter this. Systems like Samyukta, Himshakti, Akishtir, and DRDO's D4 use GPS spoofing and jamming to mislead or disable enemy drones. Deployed across all major military theaters, these EW grids protect key economic hubs and neutralize Pakistan's growing drone threat. Flying Wedge Defense and Aerospace has won a silver medal at the 2025 ARCA Innovation Exhibition in Croatia, for its Kala Bairava Economic and Efficient Autonomous Aircraft, India's first fully indigenous AI-powered male combat drone. With 30-hour endurance, 3,000 km range, autonomous targeting, modular weapons, and swarm capability, the drone offers a low-cost alternative to foreign systems. The award highlights India's growing defense tech ecosystem, rising UAV exports, and progress towards self-reliance under Atmanirbhar Bharat.
A viral video from Dubai Air Show 2025 showed clear liquid dripping from India's Tejas MK-1A fighter, sparking claims of an oil leak. In reality, it was harmless water from the jet's environmental control system. When hot bleed air is cooled rapidly during ground checks, moisture condenses and is drained overboard. Common in modern fighters like the F-16 and Rafale, the paper bags used by technicians also indicated it wasn't oil, which requires special spill kits. Despite online misinformation, Tejas performed flawlessly later that day, and the incident highlighted how out-of-context clips can fuel misleading narratives. DRDO has fully qualified its indigenous AFADEX system for the Kaveri dry engine, achieving nearly 300 in engine hours and over 1,300 test rig hours, including 75 at simulated altitudes. The digital control unit, proved advanced flameout detection, and auto relight logics with 95% reliability in 2024 trials, featuring fault tolerant algorithms and real time health monitoring. A FADEX stabilizes performance and boosts efficiency, marking a major step toward India's self-reliant turbofan ecosystem and future AMCA class engines. ADA has released a major tender to design and qualify an electromechanical actuator for the AMCA Stealth Canopy, a critical system that opens, closes, and emergency jettisons the cockpit dome with high precision. Replacing older hydraulic units, the EMA offers lighter weight, higher reliability, and faster response times, vital for a Mach 2 class fighter. The tender demands advanced design, MIL STD environmental testing, EMI protection, and integration with AMCA's digital flight systems. With 80% indigenous content and scalability for over 120 jets, this actuator will be a key component as AMCA moves toward prototype assembly in 2026. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.